Muy buenas noches, amados amigos y hermanos, aquí. Good evening, beloved Escarcega, friends and brethren here Campeche, in Escarcega, Campeche, Mexican Republic. It is a great privilege for me to be with you on this dedication of this auditorium so to share some moments of fellowship with you around the Word of God and His program pertaining to this end time. For this reason, I would like to read in John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. Where it says, <coughs> Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. May God bless our souls and may he open his word to us and fills us with the knowledge of it and may he pour out his blessing upon our souls on this occasion. In the eternal name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen and amen. You may please be seated. Our subject for this occasion is the true disciples continue in the word. A true disciple always continues in the word, in the teaching of his teacher. And now, the true disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ continue where? in the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, the teaching of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ. And Christ was teaching his disciples many things, all of them given by the Heavenly Father to make them known to his people. He said, I do nothing of myself, but as I see the Father do, that is what I do. And now, where was the teaching of Jesus Christ from? From heaven, from the Heavenly Father. A man sent from heaven to teach the people of God brings a teaching from heaven, and all will be taught of God by that man through whom God comes to teach his people. The scripture says, and they shall all be taught of God. Now you will notice how this prophecy of the Old Testament then is fulfilled in the New Testament in the person of Jesus in all of its fullness. And all were being taught of God in those days. And you will notice this was an Old Testament prophecy of the prophet Isaiah who told us that all would be thought of God. And now notice the simple way in which God teaches his people through the one who he sent, through whom he gives the revelation of all the things he must speak and he must do or work at that time. Everything is carried out in such a simple way that for those who do not know the scriptures and do not watch for the fulfillment of the scriptures, what God promised is fulfilled and they do not even realize what God is carrying out. Now, all were being thought of God through human flesh, through our beloved Lord Jesus Christ. 
Just as God had thought the people through the prophet Moses and through all the messengers, now God was in Jesus in all his fullness. And those who continued in the teaching of Jesus Christ, he says to them, let us see, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, because he who continues in the teaching of his teacher is a disciple of that teacher. And now, Christ said in John chapter 16 verses 12 to 15 I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will shew you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall shew it unto you. All things that the Father had are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall shew it unto you. It looks like we have a hailstorm. Hailstones. Now, notice the doctrine of teaching from heaven also comes down as the rain to the people of God as the former rain, the first coming of Christ and the teaching of the first coming of Christ and the latter rain, the second coming of Christ and the teaching of the second coming of Christ. And the disciples of Jesus Christ back then in the first coming of Christ were indeed his disciples if they continued in the teaching of Jesus Christ in his first coming. And at the last day, the disciples of Jesus Christ will be hearing his voice through his angel messenger at this end time. And they will continue in that revealed word that he will give them at this end time. And they will indeed be the disciples of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ, the followers of Jesus Christ, and of the teaching that he will be bringing at the last day. Just as they will also know and follow the teaching he brought us in his first coming and the work he carried out and they will receive the benefits of his first coming as well and the work of redemption carried out on his first coming so that at the last day then in addition they may receive the benefits of his second coming which are the new body the transformation of our bodies promised for this end time that is for whom for the true disciples the true disciples of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ whom are the ones that continue in the teaching of Jesus Christ our Savior now he said I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now but when the Holy Spirit comes howbeit when he the Spirit of truth is come he will guide you unto all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will shew you things to come notice the Holy Spirit will come and that would be after Christ died rose and ascended to heaven and on the day of Pentecost he came upon 120 people and then he has been coming upon all the converters to Christ from age to age and he has come upon the messenger of each age sent by Christ through whom the Holy Spirit has been in the midst of his church teaching his church making known to her the things she must know from age to age and you will notice how in first John chapter 2 verse 27 it says but the anointing which ye have received of him abided in you and ye need not that any man teach you but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things and is true and is no lie as, and even as it hath taught you ye shall abide in him and now little children abide in him that when he shall appear we may have confidence 
and not be ashamed before him at his coming so that in his second coming we do not turn away ashamed of him so that when he is manifested himself in his second coming we do not run away but instead we are brought near to him received by him now notice the anointing has been in the midst of his church of Jesus Christ from age to age in the messenger of each age who has been anointed by the Holy Spirit and has been teaching the things pertaining to each age and the true disciples have been hearing the voice of Christ through his manifestation in Holy Spirit through the messenger of each age therefore the church of the Lord Jesus Christ all the members of his church whom are the ones that are born again they are disciples of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ because they continue in his word from age to age which is revealed from age to age the message of the age in which they are granted to live and now the Spirit of Christ in each messenger testifies of Jesus Christ as it says here it says he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall shew it unto you all things that the Father had are mine therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall shew it unto you now it says that when he comes howbeit when he the Spirit of truth is come he will guide you unto all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he shall shew you things to come and the Holy Spirit has been doing this through his messengers that he has sent through the Apostle through Paul and through each one of the messengers and at the last day and for the last day he says I Jesus have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches Revelation 22 verse 16 and through his angel messenger he will be making known to us all the things that will happen that will come at this end time and the true disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ will be hearing his voice the voice of Christ in Holy Spirit through the messenger of the last day and they will continue in his word the word of Christ through his angel messenger who will be testifying of Jesus Christ and of all the things that must come to pass at this end time and he will be speaking everything that the Holy Spirit puts in his mouth therefore he will not speak nothing of himself but as he hears the Holy Spirit speak to him so will he speak to the people of God to the church of Jesus Christ at the last day in the age of the cornerstone where Christ in Holy Spirit will be teaching his people thus all will be thought of God at this end time in the age of the cornerstone and dispensation of the kingdom to obtain the faith the revelation to be changed and raptured at this end time the revelation of the second coming of Christ as the lion of the tribe of Judah as king of kings and lord of lords in his claiming work because he comes to take his elect to the marriage supper of the lamb but first he will change us whom are alive and will raise the dead in Christ in eternal bodies now we can see whom are the true disciples they are the ones who continued in the word the revealed word for the age in which they are given to live the word revealed by the Holy Spirit through the messenger of each age and thus those are the people who have built their house upon the rock upon the revelation and they are all built upon the revelation as individuals and the church of Jesus Christ as a mystical body is built upon revelation upon this rock I will build my church it is upon the rock of the revelation and from age to age Christ has been revealed from age to age in the angel messenger of each age and through each angel messenger he has been bringing his revealed word for that age Christ has been veiled and revealed in the messenger calling and gathering together his elect calling and gathering his sheep from age to age because he was the one who said that he had all the sheep which were not of that Hebrew fold which he must also bring and he said and they shall hear my voice and there shall be a fold and a shepherd how will they hear the voice of Christ through the messengers he would send from age to age and now the sheep that heard the voice of Christ through Paul 
were in Asia Minor. And from there that call of God spread to very many nations. That is how it has been from age to age. And now, where is God calling his sheep? In Latin America and the Caribbean. Because that is where the sheep of Christ of the last day are found. 90% of them. So that it is not said that we won at all. But if they don't take that 10% that we left them with, then we will also fill it up with Latin American and Caribbean people. And now, the voice of Christ through the messenger of each age has called and gathered together the sheep in each age. And those are the sheep who have continued in the word of Christ. And therefore, they are the true disciples of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ from age to age in the mystical body of Christ. The whole church of the Lord Jesus Christ are disciples of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ because they continued in his word. And now, at this end time, the last sheep of Jesus Christ are called and gathered together. The last ones who will continue in the word of God, which will be proclaimed by the Holy Spirit through his angel messenger. And he will be making known to us all the things which must shortly come to pass. It says, and he shall show you things to come. And that is why the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ is sent. What for? To show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. Why? Because the Holy Spirit comes manifested in him. And through him, the Holy Spirit comes speaking to his church all the things which must surely come to pass. The Holy Spirit puts in the mouth of his messenger the word that he must speak. He hears it from Christ and speaks it to the people. And Christ shows him the things that he must do, that he must work in the mystical body of Christ. And thus, at this end time, the last call, the great voice of the trumpet, the last trumpet, the voice of Christ, the voice of the angel of the covenant, the voice of the Holy Spirit through his angel messenger speaks to us. It calls and gathers together his elect and teaches us all the things which must shortly come to pass at this end time. And the true disciples will continue in the word, his word, the word of Christ, the angel of the covenant making known to us all the things which must shortly come to pass at this end time. And now you will notice how all the members of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the mystical body of the Lord Jesus Christ, are disciples of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ because they have continued in his word from age to age. The true disciples that continue are the ones that continue in the Word. True disciples continue in the Word. And now, through the teaching reign, at this end time of the latter teaching, you will notice Christ teaches us all things which must happen at this end time and the elect, his sheep, all those who are of God will hear his voice and continue in his word. And they are identified as the true disciples who continue in his word. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. That is what Revelation 22 verse 16 says. Notice how through each angel messenger Christ has been veiled and revealed from age to age. That has been the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must surely come to pass 
and he sent it by his angel messenger to John the Apostle. And contained there in those revelations given by the angel of Jesus Christ to John the Apostle are all the things that would happen during the different ages of the Church of Jesus Christ until this end time. And how Christ would be revealed in his church in Holy Spirit, in the angel messenger of each age until this end time until the angel of the Lord Jesus Christ and as he did through each angel messenger in each age that is what he will be doing through his angel messenger at this end time and thus at this end time all the elect of God of the last day will be called and gathered together whom are the true disciples who continue in the word because the true disciple continue in the word in whose word in the word of their teacher may the blessings of Jesus Christ our Savior the angel of the covenant be upon all of you and upon myself in all of his fullness under the new covenant under the blood of the new covenant the blood of Jesus Christ and soon may the number of God's elect be complete and soon may the dead in Christ rise in eternal bodies and may we who are alive be changed and may we all be taken with Christ to the marriage supper of the Lamb in the eternal name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen and Amen it's been a great privilege for me to be with you on this occasion testifying to you about the true disciples who continue in the truth because the true disciples continue in the word and his word the word of Christ is the truth it is the truth for each age and for each dispensation and he is the truth Christ and he is the word he in each age by fulfilling the promised word for each age he is manifested there in each age and you will notice what he does from age to age he is revealing himself in each age through the messenger of each age well it has been a great privilege for me to be with you tonight testifying to you about the true disciples of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ because the true disciples continue in the word on a night when there are showers of blessings and even in such a hot place even ice was falling in other words hail and hail is cold so after a little while the weather will be cooler and notice how God blesses us with water at a time when it feels so hot so therefore may God bless you may God keep you and take care of you and may he continue teaching us his word because we are true disciples of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ because we continue in his word well and if we continue in his word then we continue with our faith placed in Christ and we talk about Christ because our faith is in Christ our Savior why because true disciples continue in the word his word that is why we follow Christ 
with our faith placed in Christ. And we follow Christ, talking about Christ every day of our life and making known the glorious work of redemption carried out on Calvary's cross for the salvation of all the sons and daughters of God. Let us talk about Christ, the King of Kings, He is the Lord of Lords Supreme for how long? Throughout eternity. Let us talk about Jesus. May God continue to bless you all. May God keep you and continue forward following Christ and walking with Christ with our faith placed in Christ our Savior. May God bless you and keep you all.